In this video, I'm going to unbox this Lerva Build 7 4K OLED television and explore the user menu to see what picture settings we can adjust. This is the first OLED television from Lerva. In fact, it's the first Lerva TV that has ever arrived in our test room. So let's get started. The screws for assembling the stand are not your traditional Philips head ones, so you will need your own hexagonal SW4 and also a T20 screwdriver to assemble the stand. This appears to be a bracket to be attached to the back of the television for wall mounting. The remote has a substantial weight to it and feels really upmarket, totally different from the cheap remote that comes with this year's OLED TVs from another brand. <coughs> <Sorry>. <coughs>
Connect this from the stand to the TV for the rotating motor unit. I've been told multiple times about this, but still almost forgot it. You need to remove this transit screw found on the back of the TV to the left of the stand so that the screen can move up and down when you switch the TV on and off. Remove the clear plastic films at the back along both sides of the television. There's a master power switch at the bottom of the screen, just in case you think your Lover Bill 7 is dead on arrival because you keep pressing your remote control and it still doesn't turn on. Okay, so we have set up the Lover Bill 7 on a motorized tabletop stand which you can buy separately for £800. Before I go into the user menu, can I just say that I absolutely love the way this TV switches on. The OLED screen moves up slowly and quietly to reveal the integrated 120W soundbar underneath and a white Lover logo appears in the middle of the screen against an inky black background that we know OLED is capable of. Also, with the motorized stand, you can swivel the screen left and right by using the remote control. This is just so cool. I'm a sucker for motorized electronics, I guess. With that out of the way, let's explore the picture settings on the Lover Bill 7.55. Go into the picture submenu. Picture adjustment contains the various picture modes. Home mode, premium mode, shop mode, and cinema mode. If you change any of the settings in these modes, the settings will be saved in the personal mode. Go back. There are the traditional picture affecting controls of contrast, brightness, and color. Now, Image Plus Active is Lover's own technology that applies multiple picture processing features such as dynamic contrast, gamma stretching, gamma remapping, and sharpening all at once, not unlike the reality creation engine found on Sony Bravia televisions. Picture format allows you to disable overscan. Ah yes, 3D. The Lover Bill 7 is probably one of the last OLED TVs that offer 3D support. Color temperature. You get three choices of intensive, normal, and soft. There are no white balance controls in the user menu. You'll have to go into the service menu for that. Sharpness. Auto dimming is actually a light sensor function, adjusting the TV's brightness and contrast automatically depending on the amount of ambient light that is detected in the room. Film quality improvement or DMM. We don't know what it stands for exactly, maybe digital movie mode. It is Lover's motion interpolation technology. There's no black frame insertion or BFI on the Lover Bill 7.55. Digital Noise Control or DNC Gamma, which is a global gamma adjustment for dark room or bright room viewing Now, OLED calibration is quite interesting It is equivalent to the clear panel noise or pixel refresher function on LG OLEDs which manually triggers a major OLED compensation cycle to improve uniformity of the screen the TV will run its own regular compensation cycle after 4 hours of accumulated operation anyway, so there's really no need to click on the execute button unless it's absolutely necessary. There are a couple of other settings that you need to know outside the picture menu. Go to connections. If we go to HDMI, you can engage gaming mode for various connection inputs to lower the input lag. Compatible mode is for forcing HDMI 1.4 handshaking. When you're not getting any video signal from a legacy device that's not compatible with HDMI 2.0, you can tick the checkbox to try and get a picture. As mentioned before, you need to go into the service menu to calibrate the grayscale. There are the red, green and blue gain controls which affect the brighter portions of the grayscale. And offset controls 
RGB offset controls for darker part of the image. There you go, we've explored and explained most of the important picture settings on the Lover Bill 7.55 OLED television. We'll be spending some time to review it, so if you have any questions about this TV, please let us know in the comment section below. In the meantime, I'll just play with the motorized swiveling stand.